Levi Roots and today I'm in White Cross Street Market in East London. This place started in the 17th century which makes it one of the oldest food market in London. It's places like this that I get my inspiration from. You know, the food, the people, the smells, which makes it perfect to showcase my reggae reggae recipes for romance. Okay, for my main course, I'll be doing my reggae reggae king prawns with salmon linguine. Fantastic. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fry off the salmon first of all. I've got my pan here, nice and hot. And I'm just gonna sling on my salmon, put it in the pan there and fry it off lightly. And you don't want to fry this too long, just to lock in the flavor of the fish. Now, once you've fried them off for a little bit, I've got my grill in the van, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish them out now and finish them off in my grill. Right, I've got my salmon under the grill now. I'm gonna sort it the rest of the ingredients. I've got some water on here for my linguine. So let's add some red onions and your spring onions. Or if you're a Caribbean person, you will say your scallion. Let's stir that in a little bit. Just to get that nice flavors of the onions and your spring onions together. Next, I'm, I'm gonna add some of these. Yeah. Nice bit of colour in there. I think the next should, thing should go in is these delicious babies here. Your prawns, let's get that in there. Okay. I've got some creme fraiche. Cooking is fun, you've got to have fun, especially if you're cooking for a loved one. It's about that. Okay, my prawns have gone all nice and pink, so now I'm going to add spinach in there. Lovely green spinach in there. And I'm gonna add one of my favorite things is a bit of white wine. But first, yeah, baby. Let's get it in there. The white wine. We got some of this, baby. It's gonna go in, in it. I know you can add whatever you want. But you know me. Yeah. <laughs> get that nice and stirred in. And you know, adding that lovely wine in just sets it up for your partner when she arrives or he arrives. <laughs> Let's get the pasta on. Now, I'm going to get the salmon. And now finally, the salmon. Flake it off. I like to take the skin off as well. Nice, lovely salmon. Give it a nice stir. And you better be having some music on in the background as well. Preferably a nice chilled out laid back reggae. Pasta is ready, so let's dish it up, shall we? Let's get a nice, this is for two. Right, now for your sauce. And there you have it, my delicious reggae reggae king prawns with salmon linguine. Love on a plate. But no romantic meal is complete without a pudding. So I'm going to be showing you how to do my steamed ginger pudding with my fabulous secret sauce. Yes. What have we got here? Have a look at this. I've got some breadcrumbs, a bit of flour, I've got some suet, some sugar here and I've got some ground ginger. So I'm gonna add that all in this dish here. Let's go with that. In there it goes. And on top of that, egg yolk and milk. Pour that in. And let's marry that all together in there. Right, when you've got that nice and mixed, I've got some ramekins here that I've already greased with the butter in there. And we're gonna add our mixture into our ramekins. Once you've got them in, let's seal them. I've got a bit of greaseproof paper, foil, make sure they're nice and sealed. Okay. 
Right. I've got a pan with some water here. Now what we need to do is to actually get the water up so it comes halfway up your ramekin. Too shallow, not good. Too deep, then it comes over the top and ruins your pudding. That's perfect. Put the top on and you leave that to steam for about an hour and a half and then you're cooking. Once your pudding is nearly done, it's in there for about an hour and it's like, it's getting like really good. You can start with your sauce. Now, let's have a look. We've got a pan, a nice heated pan there. First thing I'm gonna add is a bit of syrup. Three tablespoons full of this golden syrup here. Right, but next thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of surprise because you know, cooking is about surprising and you know, Chilies is always something that helps to get the romantic out of you. And here, there's nothing better than had a little bit of heat than a little bit of my reggae reggae sauce. So this is my secret ingredients within my pudding. I'm gonna add about two of these in there. Just to bring a little bit of heat. So that if your loved one is not ready when she arrives, this will help. <laughs> okay, next thing, let's get the ginger, our chopped ginger in nice bit of cream. Now this is practically ready. So now let's dish it up. Hour and a half in should be perfect. Yeah, I love it. Let's get it on the joint. That looks fantastic. That's how you want it. It doesn't always turn out like that, but I'm glad it did this time. Let's get the sauce in there. You've noticed in my special love shape bowl. And there you have it, my steamed ginger pudding with my special sauce. Now it's just to find somebody to share it with. So let's go. Hello, beautiful lady. <laughs> it's good. Does, 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 it, does it stirs up that love kind of vibes within you? <laughs> like, yeah. like, it does. Yes. Well, thank you very much. You're fantastic. Brilliant. I think that was a winner. Yes.